Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, Dave Kincaid here with Alberta Business Grants. And you will remember a guest we have on here, Dan Olson from Careers. He was here a couple months ago. Dan, thanks for coming back. Thanks, David, for having me. Um, something's come up. It's kind of cool in grants uh, where you have this situation. It's timing. And there's critical junctures. If you want to participate in programs, you usually have to be well ahead of them. That's and Right. right? The summer job grants, my favorite one, Dan, just a quick aside where I would, you know, a lot of people aren't thinking in the middle of January about their summer student. It is just usually not top of mind, that's right. but that's when you got to get those summer student grants in to participate in those programs and hire. So we're kind of in a similar situation where we're dealing with students and we're timeline. So I said, Hey, can we just talk about this? <laughs> uh, you know, David, you know, the, the program is, changed a little bit from last year and so that's why I'm happy to be here so first of all you know what we're doing is we're we're, we're increasing the amount of funding that's going to be available to employers uh, to hire local youth in careers programming but see I've changed it up a little bit okay so what we're going to be doing right is we're getting uh, employers to to have that confidence or get excited about injecting youth into their business and into their industry for, for the summer of 2023, okay? But they apply for funding now with just an idea of what that student might be doing. And here's what it looks like. What is the mission and vision of the company? What is the foundation of the skills that you're gonna be looking for for that, for that intern to have an impact towards that vision and mission? And then we take that paragraph and we share it with every single Alberta high school. And that is going to be what's, what's going to inspire students to come forward and say, you know what? I'm inspired by the vision and mission of this company, not by the position. I, I want to learn the values of the company, not just the skill. I want to put experience before education. Okay. And then this, this grouping of students is going to come forward and ask more questions. They're going to say, hey, I, I saw this, this paragraph or this, this saying or this write-up about this company. What kind of skills are they going to be looking for? Do, do they even know yet? And as we get closer to the start date, we're going to be working with that company to kind of refine what the tasks and responsibilities and objectives of that internship is going to be to the employer's needs closer to the start date. Mm. It's such a gap, eh? It's interesting to hear you talk about, like, I mean, I think of an employer looking to hire, this is a great opportunity to find some young talent in, I know even working in tech spaces, like trying to find tech talent is so difficult and they're trying to build these long-term, the companies that are really, you know, doing well. Um, and so it's funny to hear you say what matters to the students and then yeah. bringing the students, because I would imagine for a lot of kids, 16, 17, 18 years old, they don't want to work there. They're not going to work there. Like they need to understand why they're going to go there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when I when I talked to the students again, you know, a couple of years ago, it was uh, values driven employers. Yeah. Right. And, and they want to add and the students want to add value to that. Right. Away, right. So we're, we're making it even easier for employers to hire more students with increased funding. So I'm gonna share my slide with you, is that cool? Yeah, please, yeah. So here, here's what uh, the funding kind of looks like, all right? If, if, if an employer wants to take a, a student during the school year, you know, and have that student work for 125 hours, we would recommend maybe $900. And when that student completes uh, those hours, uh, careers will send a check out to that employer within 50 days. But hmm. the, the funding is a little bit different than last year because if we jump ahead to uh, the $4,000 incentive, it's two or more students for a collective total of 480 hours. So what that could look like is uh, one student works 75 hours and the other student works the rest and you would still get the $4,000 incentive. 
So if we jump it up one more level and we're looking at the $7,500 incentive, three or more students, that could be uh, different students working uh, to their, their skills and their availability, but they match their values and their interests with the employer. So some students can work less and some students can work more. Yeah. And this is in addition to all the help careers provides, finding the students, training the students, getting them ready. And then once they pass all those tests, yeah. then there's a financial incentive to de-risk it for an employer hiring a youth. I get it. Like that's uh, yeah, that's a big step, right? Yeah. So of course, all of career services uh, and resources are going to be free to the student, to the school and, and to the employer in creating that awareness with the, the student population, right? Working with the school to curate and screen that talent to the best competitive edge, and then forwarding um, a selection, a reasonable selection, maybe six or, or even three students, or, or maybe more depending on what the company is looking for. So that, the, so that the employer can be rest assured that careers and our education partners are the voice, are, are their consistent, an inspiring voice within the education system yeah. that the employer focuses on their primary objectives, right? So right now, Dan, with, with this program, I get it. So talk us through the timeline. It's November, 2022 when you're watching yeah. this. So just walk us through the timeline. Okay, so the Youth Internship Incentive Program uh, was released at the beginning of, of October. And instead of being a paper application grant, we've now created portals and the employers will get their own unique careers custom portal to access our, our systems. This will enable them to not only apply for funding, but to create you know, their own internship positions and the ability to modify those internship positions as they see fit. Okay. They can select a start date in July, but already the students are gonna start accessing this portal on their own, and they're gonna start to look at all the different opportunities, oh, the cool. employers of choice, and so that they can start preparing with their school the foundation of skills that that employer is gonna be looking for in July. Oh, nice. Right. Nice. And then so, when, yeah, when we get to April or May, we're gonna, when we get to April and May, we're going to facilitate those interviews um, again for the employer so that the, the, the student can actually go a little bit harder uh, into the internship or lean into the internship with a little bit more confidence and skills. Is this um, program similar to I work with so many different programs where employers, I find the first time into grants, it's always kind of like stumbling around and you're kind of figuring it out. But then you know, you can kind of get a good system going where if you continually need young talent, this is a program, you know, they can not do it just one year. They could do it in additional years. Is that true? Uh, yeah. So so Careers has been around for 25 years or actually 27, I think, right? And uh, last year we placed, I, I, I think, around 100 or 150 ICT students in about 2,400 students in all of our programs. Uh, this year, we're going to be placing 4,000. Next year, 6,000. And then, of course, we're going to maintain this program year over year. Yeah. Well, that's, it's, uh, it's a lot of kids, a lot of jobs. Uh, that's great. So for, if I guess if employers are listening to this, as always, uh, best place to take, what's the next step you'd like to see them take, Dan? You know what? Next step, uh, we're going to help you create that portal. We're going to help you apply. If this is your first time, we're going to we're going to help you apply for that grant so that it takes less than twenty minutes. Um, and then we're going to approve that grant uh, within seven days, so that you know what your action steps. And if you're not approved right away for whatever reason, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to help you fix that grant right right away. Okay. Yeah. It's so, there's so much, uh, uh, the reason I love this is it's so advantageous for an employer out there who's like, needs a little bit of help, kind of unsure about what to do. Like, this is great. You find out quick, you get assistance. I mean, it's, 
and you know, some young person gets that the feeling of helping someone else get a career and become an adult. It's kind of cool too, right? Like it's just great all around. Careers, the careers team is going to do whatever we can uh, to best support those values driven employers. And, um, you know, for the employers, we really have to take a second and think about this. These, these are, these are top tier talent uh, hmm. that are eager to learn beyond the curriculum. And then careers and our education partners, we're going to be there supporting the, the intern and the employer throughout the whole process, not just the hiring stage, but after as well. Okay. Yeah, that's great. And then when we think about it from a promotion perspective, careers works with every single high school. So potentially, if we think that there's 100 to 150,000 high school students, what, is, what, is, what would it mean to you, David, if, if you know, a, even 1% of those students came to you and said, I'm inspired because of what this organization is doing? You're my employer of choice. Yeah. What would that mean to your company? Well, it's a big deal. I mean, I'm dealing with them all the uh, companies all the time and finding talent, keeping talent. It's the number one issue. It's going to be going to, it looks like it's going to be the number one issue for a long time. Yeah. So um, this is, this is just great, Dan. And I, I mean, so for employers who are out there, by all means, reach out to careers. What's the uh, website again, Dan? Um, it's www.careersnextgen.ca. Okay. There you go. So you can have that and reach out, um, uh, and get some assistance getting in that portal so you can get rolling on this. Dan, any final words from you before we sign off here? <laughs> you know what? Uh, the only other thing I want to mention is that some of the employers are going to be thinking, well, what can a high school student do? Mm. Right. And I just want to remind them there that Careers is also going to be there to help you custom build that internship to solve business challenges with technology. Whatever the tasks, whatever the objectives are, we have enough understanding of the curriculum to create that alignment for you. Yeah, I think it's a great point, right? Because that is a good, it's going to be a fair question. Hey, if we do this, what we're going to do, you're getting the help, getting the training. And then um, you're getting even the assistance on putting them. But I imagine there's some employers out there that it, this is a no brainer for them. They need some, they need some help and this could be a great start point point. So that's why we had you come back, Dan. Thanks for this. So I'd encourage people, he's looking for innovative companies out there. So reach out to careers and let's help some youth get working and uh, help your business grow. Most importantly, thanks a lot, Dan. Thank you, David. Uh, I'm looking forward to always connecting with your, your listeners to help prepare Alberta for the road ahead. Thank you again. See ya.